What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be officially starting on the case swap for the MR2. I'm super excited. In my last video I showed you guys how I did the engine harness, or I mean the body harness. Yeah, excuse him. Trying to make a video here! Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, you all saw in my video, in my last video where I did the body harness, modified that to fit the Toyota, or the Toyonda engine harness which i have here in my glove box all kind of tidy tidied away there but today got eric over here we're gonna officially start on actually yanking the motor out we already kind of started we got everything done as much as we could on the top kind of got everything disconnected charcoal canister everything um we're gonna lift the back end up pull the wheels off take the cross member out drain all the fluids get on the motor mounts and hopefully have this thing knocked out before the end of the day so I'm gonna take you all along with us and uh, let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so this is the progress that we made. We got both of the axles out, down and on the ground. We got the engine harness disconnected, DCU and everything unplugged, ABS and everything disconnected, or not the ABS, the cruise control and everything disconnected. Got the radiator hoses disconnected. Um, got all the fluids drained, got the coolant drained, uh, tranny fluid drained, engine oil drained. So. Yeah, it's a pretty good stopping point maybe for tonight uh we may just kind of keep going down and remove this cross member out of here and then after that we just got to drop the exhaust and then pretty much it's just motor mounts from then on so just got to disconnect the lines from the ac compressor as well and uh that'll be it we got pretty much everything disconnected from the top we're working on the bottom cross member right now um Got these two arms removed on both sides. Got the sway bar links disconnected and we are working on those two bolts there for the lower control arms. Um, after we take those two bolts for lower control arms out, we should be go ahead, we should be good to go ahead and remove these main bolts right here on both sides. And then this whole thing will just kind of drop down on the ground and we can get that out of the way. Um, once that's out of the way, then really it's just game on to go ahead and get this motor drop. Got to do a couple things from the top. Still got to disconnect the shift linkage, uh, slave cylinder, you know, or clutch clutch line, stuff like that. Little small stuff, but we're getting there. So we're gonna keep trucking along and uh, hopefully have this motor drop in a few hours. So the engine hoist out. We got it hooked up to the motor. The motor's pretty much hanging in there by one bolt. I got all the motor mounts done. Um, literally, that's the only bolt that's kind of holding this whole thing in here. Um, once I undo this, this whole little bracket thing will pop out, and then this engine will be pretty much free and uh, ready to be dropped onto the ground so I'm gonna go ahead and take that one last little bolt out and then uh, you know go ahead and start letting this old motor out So motor is officially dropped. It's out of the car. However, I do need to um, disconnect the speedo cable from it real fast and then go ahead and lift the back end of the car up and then yank the motor out from underneath the car. So we should be having this motor out here shortly. Alrighty boys, the motor for the MR2 is on the ground. As you guys can see, there's nothing disconnecting it whatsoever. It is good to go. Uh, I have the MR2 kind of suspended by my cherry picker. I uh, anchored it some bolt holes on the firewall and just kind of lifted it up to pull the engine off of the, or to pull the body off the engine. And as you can see guys, MR2 motor is officially out. Which means there's so much more room for activities. And with that being said boys, figured I'd give you an update on some parts that I just got for the engine for the MR2. We got our turbo and our turbo manifold. So I went with a 1320 Sidewinder turbo manifold. This is a 1.5 version, so the wastegate flange does kind of 
you know, kind of blend in a little bit better instead of just a hard 90. Um, <clears throat> the turbo I got is a GTX 3584R bull ball bearing, dual ball bearing turbo from Pulsar. Brand their turbos a lot in the past. I always had good luck with them. So I'm going to continue to use their products. And I can tell you just in the past couple of years, uh, their quality has actually gotten a lot better. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and keep trucking. I got a guy coming from Kansas. He's going to pump butter and trans today. So that's pretty uh, convenient, actually. Got to remove the same day that he's going to come pick it up. So we'll have this hanging around and get rid of this. And we'll start installing the K-Series. All right, boys, as you can see, we officially got the motor and the transmission removed from the MR2. Officially out of the car. Just let the car net back down off the jack stands. And to be honest with you, it really wasn't too bad. Um, combined time, I think I want to say probably took me about four hours all in all. So it wasn't too terrible. Um, that's a fun contraption. But uh, yeah, boys, a lot more room for activities. It's going to be the new home for our K-Swap. I will be severely, severely uh, degreasing all of this and uh, pressure washing it. I think it'll turn out pretty good once I get all that done. Um, got a lot of things to clean up back here. But um, anyways, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and just stop it. Alrighty, guys, so it's the next day and we're going to go ahead and start cleaning up this engine bay. I'm going to go ahead and start just removing a bunch of little things that I don't need in the engine bay anymore. I'm going to go ahead and pull the shifter cables through. I'm going to go ahead and take these heat shields down. Uh, I did go to the store and I got some of this stuff, Purple Power. I got the Extreme Purple Power, so <laughs> hopefully it uh, you know works a little bit better. Uh, we're gonna get rid of all of this gunk on the firewall here. I mean, she just needs a good cleaning, boys. And I think I think with a good uh, degreaser and a really good uh, cleaning, we should be able to get this thing uh, looking pretty nice. So we'll go ahead and uh, soak some degreaser on it, and we'll rinse it off and uh, start there. boys as you can see it's engine bay cleaned up pretty dang nice the firewall cleaned up nicely anyways it's a little hard to get in those you know little cracks and crevices and stuff but uh and for some reason somebody like randomly did a couple shots of uh, black spray paint um don't think that's firewall did the same thing down there I, I don't think that's factory did the same thing right there i don't know why um but hey man this thing cleans up pretty nice so uh, i haven't even hit it with a brush yet it's literally just dis, uh just degreaser and uh you know my water hose not even a pressure hose so i'm sure once i get in there and start hitting it with a brush and get in between those you know cracks and crevices and stuff uh we should be good to go so all right boys so i did it i took all the stuff off the firewall took all the heat shield and everything off i am once again going to go ahead and degrease this stuff a little bit more uh just the whole engine bay in fact but night and day difference from what i started with today uh engine bay looks a lot better a lot cleaner, a lot better. It means when I work on it, I don't have to get as dirty, which is nice. Always a benefit. Um, but as you can see, though, I do have a little bit more work to do. I got to remove some cables and some bracketry and a couple hoses and stuff around and kind of unclutter that area. Once that area gets all uncluttered, this engine bay will look a, even a little bit better. So, looking pretty good, guys. Uh, but I think I'm going to stop it there for today. I'm kind of running out of daylight. So, I'm going to go ahead and shut her down clean up my mess and pack it in for the night <clears throat> well so that's going to be it for this video guys i uh, just wanted to show you guys how i dropped the motor and everything like that kind of starting to prepare the engine bay uh, to accept its new engine which i'm super excited to put in um, so anyways guys if you like this video go ahead and smash that like button go ahead and subscribe if you want to go ahead and uh, you know follow the build and uh, if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below but until then i will see y'all later peace